वेलकम टू फूड फीड इन फू डॉट कॉम दिस इज पार्ट टू ऑफ फैट मेटाबलिज्म इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस ऑक्सीडेशन ऑफ अनसेचूरेटेड फैटी एसिड इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी डिस्कस बीटा ऑक्सीडेशन ऑफ सेचूरेटेड फैटी एसिड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस द बीटा ऑक्सीडेशन ऑफ अनसेचूरेटेड फैटी एसिड्स दिस इज द सीक्वेंस ऑफ steps during beta oxidation of saturated fatty acids the first step is oxidation then hydration and then oxidation and the last one is thiolytic cleavage uh, so these steps uh, they are going on when uh, there is a saturated fatty acid uh, but uh, there are many other fatty acids uh, which have a double bond so they might be either having a uh, one double bond they are known as mono unsaturated fatty acid or they might have uh, more than one double bond they are known as uh, poly unsaturated fatty acid so most of the fatty acid in the triglyceride uh, they are might be in the form of unsaturated uh, fatty acids particularly the phospholipids of animals and plants uh, they are having these unsaturated fatty acids with one or more double bond so these double bonds they are present in cis configuration and they cannot be acted upon uh, by the enol coa hydratase uh, this is the enzyme that catalyzes the addition of water uh, to the fatty acyl coa so this is the second step which is known as hydration and this second step is carried out by enol coa hydratase now look at this uh, picture uh, in the previous lecture we discussed palmitoyl coa and its conversion into uh, then trans enol coa this is the first step that is uh, uh, that is acted upon by acyl coa dehydrogenase so after this uh, there is an enol coa hydratase uh, so that cause hydration of this uh, a trans enol coa and then it is converted into beta hydroxyl beta hydroxy acyl coa so this enzyme uh, cannot be acted upon uh, or the reason being due to the presence of the double bond uh, in the cis configuration when we are talking about uh, beta oxidation of unsaturated fatty acids so the beta oxidation can occur only with the trans 2 3 double bond okay, when there is a double bond between carbon number 2 and 3 and that have a trans configuration so if we uh, look at the example of oleic acid which is an 18 carbon mono unsaturated fatty acid and uh, it has a cis double bond between carbon number 9 and carbon 10 so keep in mind oleic acid is a mono unsaturated fatty acid and it has only one double bond uh, at carbon number 9 or between carbon number 9 and 10 and that have a cis configuration so when beta oxidation started uh, this oleic acid is converted into oleal coa this is the activation of this oleic acid and that is in the cytosol from this uh, it is then enter into the mitochondria uh, with uh, translocase protein and attachment with the carnitine acyl carnitine and within the mitochondria then it release in the form of oleal coa for beta oxidation so during the first step of this uh, beta oxidation uh, it uh, is uh, this uh, oleal coa is uh, then carried to the second step but second step cannot be continued uh, if you look at uh, the structure of this uh, oleic acid so the first three uh, uh, bonds first three uh, bonds uh, up to uh, this carbon number 9 they are just like a saturated fatty acid so uh, during this beta oxidation these double bonds they get hydrolyze uh, through the routine uh, four step of beta oxidation uh, come to the next slide look at this oleic acid is converted into oleal coa that enter into the mitochondria and the 
within the mitochondria the four stages of beta oxidation or four steps of beta oxidation uh, they continue up to three cycles of oxidation and that result in the release of three acetyl coa it means six carbons they get separated from the oleic acid and then there is a production of three acetyl coa so due to the separation of these uh, three acetyl coa the remaining structure have 12 carbon atoms so during the first cycle it cleaved uh, at carbon number 1 and 2 then 3 and 4 and then 5 and 6 so it means six carbon atoms they get separated from the 18 carbon fatty acid and as a result of this there is a production of or at the end we have 12 carbon fatty acid so now if we look at this uh, structure so at carbon number 2 and 3 there is a double bond and it is uh, in a form of cis configuration so due to the presence of this cis configuration the enoyl coa hydratase it cannot uh, hydrolyze it cannot be acted upon on this side so to carry on uh, the beta oxidation activity uh, there is a need to convert this cis configuration into trans configuration so this cis 3 uh, do decenoyl coa do decenoyl coa mean ke 12 carbon of fatty acid the need of an enzyme uh, that is uh, known as isomerase enzyme so this uh, do decenoyl coa is then converted into trans configuration by 3 enoyl coa isomerase so it convert uh, this cis configured 12 carbon fatty acid into a uh, trans to do decenoyl coa and this uh, isomerase uh, actually uh, shifted uh, the double bond from 3 4 carbon to the 2 3 carbon in a trans configuration so now uh, it can be acted upon by rest of the enzymes and it undergo the beta oxidation in the same way as a saturated fatty acid so is the trans uh, configuration of this 12 carbon uh, fatty acid and this acetyl coa and the coenzyme a ester of a 10 carbon saturated fatty acid uh, produce that is a deca noyl coa so this is the 12 carbon with trans configuration at carbon number 2 and 3 and it continue uh, undergo oxidation through uh, five cycles of beta oxidation that result in the production of six acetyl coa so three acetyl coa they are produced uh, during the first cycle and in total there is a production of nine acetyl coa which are produced from one molecule of the 18 carbon oleic acid or oleate Uh, this is uh, the example of beta oxidation of polyunsaturated fatty acid uh, previously uh, we discussed uh, oleic acid that's a monounsaturated fatty acid now it's a linoleic acid and, and that has a two double bond one as ninth carbon and the second one as 12th carbon so it is converted into a uh, lino, uh, linoleal coa in the cytosol and then enter into the mitochondria uh, the oxidation uh, of uh, this polyunsaturated fatty acid uh, it requires uh, some uh, additional auxiliary uh, enzyme so in the oleic acid there is a requirement of only uh, one enzyme uh, that was isomerase whereas in this uh, polyunsaturated fatty acid uh, there is a requirement of two auxiliary enzymes the one uh, that is enoyl coa isomerase so this is similar to that of oleic acid oxidation and uh, uh, then comes uh, the second one this is a 
एन ए डी पी एच डिपेंडेंट टू फोर डाई इन ऑयल को ए रिडक्टिस दीज टू इंजाइम्स द कन्वर्ट ट्रांस टू सिस फोर डाई इन ऑयल को ए इंटरमीडिएट टू द ट्रांस टू इन ऑयल को ए सब स्टेट एंड दिस स्टेप इज नेसेसरी फॉर द ऑक्सीडेशन ऑफ द फैटी एसिड नो वी लुक एट द कम्प्लीट साइकल थ्रू तो दिस इज अ डायग्रामेटिक प्रजेंटेशन ऑफ दिस लिनोलिक एसिड ऑक्सीडेशन दैट हैज टू डबल बॉन्ड द वन एज नाइन कार्बन द सेकेंड एज कार्बन नंबर ट्वेल्व ड्यूरिंग द फर्स्ट थ्री साइकल्स ऑफ बीटा ऑक्सीडेशन there is a production of 3 acetyl coa and uh, due to uh, these three cycles of beta oxidation the fatty acid is leftover fatty acid is 12 carbon fatty acid so this 12 uh, carbon fatty acid uh, now have a configuration uh, with cis 3 and cis 6 fatty acid If you look at the structure, the first double bond is between carbon number three and four, and the second double bond is between carbon number six and seven. So, due to the activity of enol CoA isomerase, the double bond is then uh, shifted from three carbon to two carbon. So, then uh, trans configured uh, structure is. having a double bond between carbon number 2 and carbon number 3 so it is a trans to uh, cis 6 uh, of fatty acid this is then uh, utilized uh, in the same way of beta oxidation through one cycle of beta oxidation there is a release of one acetyl coa so up to this level there is a total production of four acetyl coa now the next structure which we have after uh, Uh, further f- oxidation or dehydrogenase activity of uh, during the first step of beta oxidation the double bond is now between carbon number 2 and carbon number 3 so it is now a conjugate double bond and uh, to continue the oxidation uh, there is an uh, requirement of another enzyme that is a reductase enzyme is required so this uh, enzyme uh, will help to continue the uh, further oxidation of the fatty acid so just uh, look at this uh, due to uh, the f- during the f- uh, first step of this beta oxidation after the release of 3 acetyl coa so there is a formation of a double bond that double bond is a conjugate double bond uh, conjugate mean that there is an alternate double bond between carbon number 2 and 3 and then 4 and 5 this is uh, the conjugate double bond the double bond is uh, first double bond is between 2 and 3 carbon and the next double bond is between 4 and 5 carbon so this uh, conjugate double bond is reduced to trans 3 uh, 4 double bond by the action of 2 4 diienyl coa reductase uh, then we have a trans 3 fatty acid where the double bond is present between carbon number 3 and 4 now this fatty acid is acted upon by enol coa isomerase and the double bond is shifted between carbon number 2 and 3 the carbon number 2 and 3 they are then acted uh, upon by the uh, hydrotase enzyme then dehydrogenase then uh, thio uh, enzyme that result or you can say the uh, that result in carrying on, uh, carrying on the uh, future steps of the beta oxidation so in this way uh, there is a production of 5 acetyl coa as a result of uh, this beta oxidation of linoleic acid so uh, in total we uh, can say that there is a production of 9 uh, uh, acetyl coa 3 in the first step then one in a step uh, due to the isomerase activity and then in the next step uh, we have a uh, this uh, conjugate uh, double bond formation after the dehydrogenase activity then this diienyl coa reductase and enol coa isomerase uh, they converted into a uh, trans 2 uh, fatty acid that is then acted uh, uh, upon by the hydrotase then dehydrogenase then uh, uh, thio uh, enzyme and finally 
there is a formation of these acetyl coa so this is how uh, this beta oxidation of uh, polyunsaturated fatty acid occurs uh, in the body that result in the production of the energy thank you for watching